What's up, guys? So Dragon Force finally released a song off Reaching Into Infinity, and uh, of course I had to give it a listen, give it a review. So let's do it. So the song's called Judgment Day. It has a very EDM kind of opening, you know. It has you know a little EDM, you know, kind of like lowered high vocals, you know, the kind of squealy kind of sound and. It really just gave all kind of an EDM vibe at first, and it went into like, you know, classic Dragon Force, and you know, the speed and, you know, the awesomeness just all came in and kind of like hit you right after that. So, the lyrics were very cool, I enjoyed, I enjoyed them, it was kind of, it was kind of cool, it was, they were, uh, you know, typical, you know, power metal, you know, war, judgment day kind of final moment lyrics, kind of like, uh, you know, the sun is dead or something like that. Sounded really good. Um, and I, I'm pretty sure I heard this right. I'm not sure though. I think I think it said shit in the song somewhere. So I'm like, oh wow, okay. It's kind of cool. I don't think I've, uh, don't think I've, I've ever you know expected that just you know like pop out there. But that was kind of cool, you know. <clears throat> song was very you know fast. You know had a lot of harmonies. Was just really really kind of crushing. It started off, you know, reminding me of, you know, um, Maximum Overload a lot, and then when um, when it kind of switched and slowed down and went into, you know, like the more chuggy kind of parts, it reminded me more of the Power Within, you know, it reminded me more of that uh, stripped down sound they had in the Power Within where it wasn't all video gamey and just kind of, you know, crunchy and stuff like that. So that was really cool how they switched you know, between the moods of the different albums, like that, to me, that's how I took it, so that was really cool, you know, it had kind of a, uh, kind of a dark edge to it, and like I said earlier, had a little bit of a dark edge to it, but overall had that, you know, happy-ish, jovial kind of ending, you know, and it was just really, really enjoyable to listen to, you know, it had, you know, the signature Dragon Force solos, the speed, you know, the guitar tones and everything, the only, like, real issue I had with the song was, at first, the vocals sounded kind of dry. And then, and that's kind of, kind of weird, you know, it's, a, like, in, just in the intro, in the first minute and a half or so, the vocals sounded kind of, like, dry and a little bit too crunchy for me. But as the song went on, that seemed to improve, like, I don't know why that just sounded uh, a little dry to me. But other than that, it was very, very nice. I really enjoyed it. Glad they finally released a track, but I enjoyed it, you know, everything was good, the lyrics were good, solos were good, the keyboard and guitar solos were great, you know, the the mood shift from, you know, the EDM opening to, you know, classic Dragon Force riffage, and then when they kind of slowed it down and kind of chugged it out a little bit, you know, switch moves between, you know, albums, you know, it was, it was really cool, I like the lyrical content was very nice, I also enjoyed that, very good track. One thing I'm wondering, though, is this really seems like it might be the last track on the album. Like, I don't know, but just listening to the lyrics and listening to how the song starts and how it ends, I'm wondering if they, if this single just happens to also be the last track on the album. You know, because I didn't look at the um, track list or anything like that. I just, you know, saw it on Blabbermouth's Twitter, clicked on it, scrolled down to the video, and just went straight to it. So I didn't look at the track listing or anything. So it like, sounds very much like it might be the last track off the album. But <clears throat> very, very awesome track. Very, you know, classic Dragon Force, you know. It's nice to finally hear G drumming on a record. You know, I've seen him live, and seen him live twice, actually. You know, it's good to finally have him on the record, glad he's on the record, you know, this is the third record with Mark, so, I'm, uh, I'm excited, I'm excited, you know, because you saw in the interviews how Fred was like, oh, well, I think we've proven we can play fast, but we've done all this other stuff, and I was like, okay, so I was kind of looking forward to hearing that as well, so maybe they'll release another single before that, that might be, you know, slower, we'll see, like, where that's going, might be more of in the realm of, um, um, Starfire, or, uh, Not Alone, you know, something like that, or maybe yeah, something even, you know, different entirely, but, definitely go check this one out, I'll leave a link in the description, uh, if you guys like these videos, you can like, you can comment, or subscribe, 
Thank you all for watching and rock on.